That's right, you read the title correctly. I think Bigfoot stole my mitts. Did you guys notice? Look at what I'm wearing, look what I found yesterday. My beloved hat, my ear flap hat. If you watch the video where I lost the drone, that's when I lost my hat. But yesterday, out in the forest, it has rained and melted enough, I found my hat. I ran through the forest to find the drone and my hat and my mitts fell out of my pocket somewhere along the way. And yesterday I found the hat, but there was no mitts with the hat. So, I therefore have to surmise that Bigfoot has little hands and he stole my mitts. Why? What's going on with this overexposed... Sony, what are you... overexposed piece of crap? Yes, I'm shooting this on the Sony A6600. And, yeah, did anybody notice? That's not full arm extension. That's full arm extension. That means we're getting a full 24 millimeters. How did we fix that? Look at that! Nice and stable! We're walking! And it's stable! How did you fix that, Gary? Yeah, well, easy. Turned off 4K and we're gonna shoot in 1080. I'm also really stressing the Sony eye autofocus wearing sunglasses, but you know what? It's doing it. I can see a little box. It's still doing it. I've put a handle on the A6600 because I can't walk around pinching a camera like that without getting carpal tunnel. So there's now a handle on this camera. And some of you right now are asking, well, is this a Bigfoot movie or is this a photography movie? Guess what? It's my channel and it's both. <laughs> hey, if you don't know what channel you're watching by now, you're either accidentally here, you're in the completely wrong place, or you just know I'm crazy and it doesn't matter. I'm going with option C, guys. It doesn't matter. So what if this video is really not about Bigfoot or about cameras? What if I want to talk about coronavirus while I'm out here in self-seclusion, 16 days in the bush going crazy alone? Okay, well it hasn't been 16 days, but it feels like it. I watched a clip on the news last night that made me want to pull my own hair out. I'm tired of being surrounded by morons. And I don't mean the morons that were lined up at the beer store and the weed store to get their drugs and alcohol because the Canadian government said, hey, we're going to shut these things down in 48 hours from now. So hundreds of people en masse went out and stood in lines and had tailgate parties at the beer store waiting to get in and pilfer the last of the shelves, take the last of the rum. We're supposed to be on lockdown here, people. And then, you know, the, the morons that I'm referring to is the public official who said we didn't realize that alcohol was a necessity. Well, of course, if you threaten people that you're going to take their alcohol and their weed and their whatever away, they're going to congregate to these places. And yeah, why wouldn't you just shut down these stores immediately and say, we are not opening these things tomorrow, if that was your concern? Now you've got 1,000 stoners with COVID-19 out there mingling and mixing in with the rest of us who are trying to stay secluded. Yeah, so maybe the point of this movie is I'm just tired of being surrounded by morons. Maybe the institute I work for told me to spend X amount of hours this week uploading all my work online so I could continue working from home online. And then they sent me an email two days later saying, we have made an official decision that we will continue to pay you guys, even though you're part time. Why wouldn't you pay me? You just asked me to put all my work online! <laughs> so yes, I've been at home for six days practicing social distancing with all my kids and dog running around, yelling, fighting. Can't even play Lego together. Can't even pick the Lego up off the floor when they're done. So of course I've got to step on it. 
When will this self-imprisonment torture end? I need a beer. So one of the viewers of the channel pointed out that the strangest tree structure we found the other day, which is a big leaning spruce that has an eight inch round log angled against it. He went back and he looked through episodes that we made before in episode 32 I showed you guys the trail here we went around on the snow machine. And you can clearly see at 1 minute and 47 seconds that section of the trail. And there is no leaning log against that spruce. And I know for a fact that I didn't put that there and my neighbor didn't put that there. So how did it get there? So that's where we're going today. We're walking back to that spot and I want to look around a little more thoroughly and see did this just break from somewhere in the ground and fall over? I'm going to knock it over I think and look at the bottom of it. Was it cut with a chainsaw? What's going on here? You like that angle better? That's the left hand. Why? Because this thing is so heavy my right arm is killing me. Whoever told you guys that the A66 was the perfect vlogging camera? Obviously didn't hold one for 20 minutes. So in 1080 mode, my little 1650 lens that I bought here becomes a very good value proposition for vloggers out there. We got no jello effect going on. I'm walking and this thing looks smooth. If Bigfoot's back there now, you're not going to see him because we got some nice bokeh happening here. He's going to be blurry. And it's not going to be his cloaking, it's going to be bokeh blur. Doesn't the forest look so much better when the background's blurry? Hey, doesn't, doesn't it make it look like I'm more real? I'm right here. I'm 3D. I'm right in front of you. Isn't that what every vlogger wants? And you need the A66 to get there. Come here, Gage. Time to work. Come here. That's my glove. Sniff it. Now, we're not looking for that glove. We're looking for the one I lost. Go get it. Go find it. Yeah, good boy. Go find it. While he's off doing that, we'll talk Bigfoot. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. How about we do that? We'll just put it in program mode and, you know, we'll let the aperture drop down to F11. So if Bigfoot runs behind me, you guys will be able to see him. And I don't have to keep screwing with the ISO like I was. I don't know what to do at this point. The channel only gets views on Bigfoot videos. It's not why I'm running the channel just for views, but hey, if you're going to do it, somebody's got to watch. I put out a trail cam video the other day. And I mean, hey, we're lucky to get three, 400 views on a trail cam video. I titled it Bigfoot Trail Cams. It's at 2,400 views in two days. Come on, people. If you like that content, I've got 48 more of those videos online. You have just as good a chance of seeing Bigfoot in the other 48 videos as you do in the last one. I get all these thumbs up and comments and everybody enjoys it, the content, and hey, awesome. How come nobody watches it unless I call it Bigfoot Trail Cams? That doesn't look like a mitt and that doesn't look like you're working very hard to find my mitt. So here we are, leaning spruce and a big log. Now, is that attached down there in the ground? No, it can't be because in that video that I was talking about earlier, there is no log there. So where did this come from? And that end up there is clearly broken off. We're going to pull this down and take a closer look at this. Oh God, it's heavy. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Heavier than it looks. Look out, buddy. Look out. What do we got down in this hole here? Uh, part of a frozen stump. I don't think that... I don't know. There's definitely wood still down there.
obviously this is just all broken so my next question is is this the top of this one here uh, and it might be so why in that other video is there nothing here from what I'm looking at right here this looks like that was a tree that was there all along it fell over into the spruce and the top of it got knocked over there but why in that other video is there nothing here am I looking at that wrong are we all looking at that wrong somebody go back and check that video and let me know I'm pretty sure I'm not crazy some of you guys I wonder about some of the emails and messages I get I'm talking pages long and these are Sasquatch experts who could tell you what each family group had for breakfast and why they don't like Cheerios. All I'm asking for is proof, people. If you're one of those guys that claims that you've been visited by Sasquatch 10 times or more, has a family group living in their backyard, show us some proof. Make some money for yourself. Put it online. Share it with us. I have to draw the line somewhere. And my line is, if you can't give me proof, I don't have to believe a word you say. That in, I don't know, how long have we been doing this? Nine months? I have found zero proof. Zero proof, people. Which kind of lends credence to everything I've ever said from day one. <clears throat> that they would not stay up here in winter. Finally, I want to ask you guys about the quality of this. I'm going to render this video in 4K, even though we're shooting in 1080. How is the quality? Is it good enough? Can I vlog with... A 1080 system with real nice stabilization and really great autofocus. Is it worth doing it with this camera? Is the bokeh? What's going on back there? Oh, we're at F11. There is no bokeh. It's clear. You can see squirrel eyes back there on that tree. How about now? Huh? Check out that bokeh. Yeah, 3.5. Eh? So is it worth it? If we shoot in 3.5, everything's a little bit overexposed, but hey, I can't do everything at once. I can't look for squatch and control every little bit of exposure that's going on here. I know I don't need to remind you guys, you're all civil, lovely people on my channel, but be kind to your neighbors. Think of the old people who only get out and do groceries once every two weeks. Think of the old people who are on a fixed income, can't afford to go out and buy $3,000 worth of toilet paper in one go. Be there for your neighbors. It's gonna come down to small communities supporting each other in this time, and I'm serious about that. This is gonna be like 1930 all over again. You know your neighbors and you support your neighbors. Think of your fellow man and be kind. Don't let coronavirus turn you into a toilet paper hoarder. Nobody needs that. Toilet paper, who needs toilet paper? I'm pretty sure I own more shotgun shells than my neighbor, so. If it comes down to it, this guy will get something to wipe his butt with. One way or another, you guys don't worry about me. I'll solve this coronavirus problem one way or another. And Tom, if you're watching this, just a heads up, I'll be over later to borrow some toilet paper. And one final thing, guys, a big thank you for the 3 million views on Unfrequented World.